creating consistent characters is becoming a big trend on social media right now. For example, AI influencers on Instagram are gaining hundreds of thousands of followers. Now imagine if these characters could appear not only in photos, but also in realistic videos. That would open up massive opportunities for anyone working professionally in social media. Hi, I'm Daniel. Welcome to my channel where I make smart tutorials. Today we are talking about a brand new feature in Design AI that lets you create your own characters. What's especially cool is that you can fully customize them and fine-tune every detail. The possibilities are almost limitless. This tool gives you the freedom to bring even your boldest creative ideas to life. Also, I've left all the useful links in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. So let's not wait any longer and jump right in. Consistent Character Tool Design AI is a powerful tool that just introduced a brand new feature. You'll find it in the AI tool section, and it's called Consistent Character. This feature lets you create your own character, either based on your photos or by using a text prompt you define. But the main idea is that you can build your character entirely from scratch. So let's walk through how it works. The first thing we can do is click Build your character. There are ready-made presets available. But let's try creating our own character using images. While it's also possible to use descriptions, we'll stick with the visual method for now. You can upload from 1 to 30 images of your character. Each one should be at least 512 by 512 pixels. Let's give it a try. I've added a few of my own photos and named the character Daniel. We'll click Start Training to begin. It takes a bit of time to process, but as you can see, the remaining time drops pretty quickly. And now the character is ready. We'll go ahead and start using it. Right away we can see that our character is active, and we've got a suggested prompt that provides a short description. The character's name, Daniel, appears in the next field. And we can also set the aspect ratio. I'll go with the canvas option. For generation mode, you can choose between fast and normal. And there's also an advanced section where you can enter a seed number. OK, guys, let's generate an image using the provided prompt. Since we're in canvas mode, everything will happen right on the canvas. And we'll be able to edit the character there later as well. Let's go ahead and start the generation, then wait for it to complete. We also have access to the design assistant, where you can ask questions via Discord, contact support, or use the prompt assistant. And here it is, our final image. The system gave us two options. And now we can pick one. You can also create more variations. Mark it as a favorite. Place it on the canvas. Download it. Or simply close the window. Let's place it on the canvas. Here we have the selection tool and the AI eraser. So if there's anything in the image you want to remove, the AI can help. You can also use the lasso or brush tools to erase specific details. But in this case, everything looks pretty well. If your character ends up with incorrect hands, no worries. You can fix that using the hand repair option. You can also add emotions and choose the layer where you can do it. Under the Expressions sidebar, you can tweak the eyes horizontally or vertically and adjust the mouth as well. You can control the lip openness or close the mouth entirely, though that last option doesn't look nice. 
Still, my friends, you can fine-tune nearly every available parameter. You can add a smile or adjust the head angle using the pitch, yaw or roll controllers. All right here. Once you're satisfied, just hit done. You can also remove the background, edit the cutout, transform the character, crop or rotate the image. This is just one of the ways to create a custom character. Now I'll try to add a few more prompts for this character and launch a new generation. It won't take long. The process is fairly quick and we'll have results in just a couple of minutes. As before, we've got two variations based on our new prompt. This time, it's the one where my character is hiking in the mountains. The results look good. Five fingers. Everything seems in place. I like this particular photo more. So I'll add it to the canvas. From here, I can remove any elements I don't like using the eraser tool. For example, the binoculars. Let's go ahead and cut them out. I'll grab the brush tool, adjust its size and brush over the binoculars. Or I can use the auto tool instead. Now I just hit generate and the eraser tool starts generating four variations. But this time it didn't quite get it right. There are some visible artifacts or random objects in the character's hands. Looks like some kind of case. Guys, let me take a little break to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free, but helps me make even more fun tutorials for you. Thanks. Now let's move on and create a second character. This time, we'll generate it using a description. I'll name her Emma and use this prompt. Beautiful European woman with long straight white hair. That's our full prompt. You can choose a specific style for the character or browse through all available styles. In my case, I'll go with Design Realistic, since I'm aiming for a more lifelike result. Then we click Generate Character Preview. This time, we're not training the model. We're creating a character based on a description. The system first generates two preview versions. So we'll wait for those to appear. And here they are. Two preview images we can expand to take a closer look. I'll pick one of them and click Start Training. The training process begins. And we'll need to wait a little while. Once it's done, we can activate the character. And there she is, fully generated. Isn't she pretty, guys? Her name and description appear on the left. And in the next field, we can add actions or scenes. For example, what she's doing. There are built-in presets like walk, read or wave. Let's go with walk. Using the Ema character we just created. And generate an image of her walking. The platform generates two variations. Let's take a look. Here are the two walking versions of Ema. We can choose either one, place it on the canvas, and make edits if needed. Now let's try doing something with our first character, Daniel. I'll select him again and add a short description. He's walking in the mountains. We'll set the action to walk and choose the landscape aspect ratio. Let's launch the prompt. The generator is running. Just a few moments now. And here we go. 
two images are ready. I'll pick this one and download it. You can choose between PNG, JPEG or SVG formats. There's also an option to upscale the image or add and remove the watermark. What other features does this generator have? You can create new images featuring your character, which we just did. You can also insert the character into existing images or generate a full character sheet based on a prompt. Let's go ahead and try the Insert Character option. Here we see the tutorial open up for this tool. Let's place the image of Daniel onto the canvas. Now, using tools like Lasso, Brush or Auto Select, we can highlight a specific area and choose another character. For example, Ema. In this field, we can tweak the prompt and add a description of actions or a scene. Now let's click Generate. The process starts again. And we'll wait to see what comes out. And here they are. Four variations of the Insert Character option. Let's give it a moment to finish and take a look at the results. We can pick any of the four, but this one looks like the best version of Walking Ema. Now we can place both characters, Daniel and Ema, walking side by side in the mountains. So, as you can see with these powerful features from Design AI, it's easy to create unique scenes with truly original characters. Finally, guys, let's take a look at the AI video feature, which allows you to turn an image into a video using various models, such as Standard, King, Minimax Halo, Luma or Runway. You can use an image from your canvas and write a prompt describing what you want to see. So let's enter a detailed prompt. You can see it on the screen. And start the generation. In the settings bar, you can select a video duration, either a 5 second or a 10 second clip. The first option costs 1 credit, and the second one costs 2. Let's go with the 10 second version. Here we go. The generator has started. And our task is now in the queue. It will take a few minutes. And there it is, the result. The image to video feature created a pretty realistic environment. As for the facial resemblance, I'd say it's a bit off. But overall, the platform fully delivered on the prompt I provided. Final thoughts. All right, my friends, time to wrap things up. Here are my final takeaways. Design AI offers powerful tools for fine-tuning your characters. As you have seen, you can add emotions, tweak the smallest details, swap out scenes and even build entire virtual worlds where your character takes center stage. We use two different approaches, image to character and text to character, to create two characters, Daniel and Ima. Honestly, with a bit more time, I think they could look even more natural. By the way, which one did you like more? Overall, this tool is impressive. And if you're interested in video generation, you definitely don't want to skip it. If you're excited to try it out, or if you've already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear about your experiences. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Until next time.